Hi again, Greg Hughes here from 90 Second Website Builder. When you first start using the software, especially the first time, you're going to find yourself faced with a blank canvas and an untitled project. And I want to show you how to work with and save your work, save your projects with this software. I've opened up a new blank empty website project. It's called Untitled One by default. If you go over to the site manager, you can see it's also called Untitled One. You always start off with one page, a blank page called Index because every website needs a home page called index. So it gets you started with one. So as you begin to build your website, you're going to want to save your work, obviously. Let's talk a little bit about that. You may already know the difference between save and save as because that's a universal Windows concept. And so when we click on file, we have both save and save as options. Save is just saving our work just like you think you would. If we choose save website as, we're doing a save as, just like as if you were working with other Microsoft products, for example, when you click save as, you're saving an additional copy of your work. So if you were creating a project and then you wanted to save another copy of it under a different name, you would choose save as. And what 90 Second Website Builder lets you do is decide on three different kinds of formats to save it in. Now, most of the time, you're just simply going to be saving it as a 90 Second Website Builder project. This is called a WBS file. .wbs is the extension for a 90 Second Website Builder project file. And that's what we're going to be saving. However, if you're designing templates, that's a slightly different format. We'll talk about that in the templates videos, but you can do that. And this is how you would create your website into the form of a template so that it can be used by other people. Or if you wanted to export your pages and save your project as an entire website set of documents, you can do that here. This is the same thing as publishing your website locally. So this is going to generate your entire website files into a folder and a collection of files that is your entire website. A WBS file is a single file that stores all of your web pages. Whereas when you generate or export your page to HTML, it is the set of files that makes up your website. Web-friendly files, HTML documents, CSS files, image files and folders and all that kind of stuff. So that's the difference. So when we do a save as, we have these options. But most of the time, we're just going to do a save website. And of course, the first time we save our website, it's going to ask us what we want to name it. Okay, so enough talk. Let's actually do it. I'm going to build a quick little website here. Just for the sake of time, it's not going to be much. I'm just going to grab the image tool and let's go find an image. Here's one we can use. A big image of a girl talking in a microphone. Okay, so far, that's the only content we have on our website. And so now let's save our work. So the first time we save, it's going to ask us to call it something besides untitled, which is a good idea. So we'll go to File, Save. And by the way, I could do a Control S if I'd rather on my keyboard. I'll do a Save. And we're going to save our website. And as you can see down here, we're going to need to call it something. And it's going to be saved as a WBS file. But here's what's really important. Where we save this file is critical. And I want to show you where that is. So before we name it, let's go to the right spot. Inside your My Documents folder, there's already a folder called 90 Second Website Builder. The software created that structure when you installed 90 Second. What happens is it creates a folder called 90 Second Website Builder inside your system folder called Documents or My Documents. And this is where you, be, you should be saving your projects. When it saves your projects, and let's go down and we'll see, I have a bunch of them, so don't be thrown off if you see a big list. Every one of these is a WBS file. Each one of these is an entire website project. When the software saves your project, your WBS file, it also creates a matching folder called an assets folder. So for example, here I have a project I called 24-7 Web Talk. That's my WBS file, my website. But you'll notice up here I have a folder of the same name. And that's because the software created that folder, that assets folder, for the sake of storing my images. I don't have to ever go put images in there. In fact, you would almost never need to go into this folder. This is something the software is using to save your work as you go, especially your images or your assets. And so as you begin to save your work, you'll see what happens. So let's do that with this fresh website that we just started. I'm going to call this something that we can remember, Greg's Test. We'll call this sample website, this WBS project, 
Greg's test. Okay, we're going to click Save. Okay, so that's the name of this particular project. If you go to the top of the page, you can see it's telling me the name of my project, Greg's test. And in fact, if we move over to the Site Manager, it tells us this is the name of our project. We still have one page. And on our page, we have an image. Now, let's make some changes to this project. So let's add some text. I'm going to grab the text tool. Let's just double click on it and put a bunch of sort of dummy text there. Okay, so now we've just changed our website project. We want to update and save it so that we don't lose our work. Here's what we do. I can go up to File Save or I can just simply click the Save button right here. Or, or again, I can click Control S. I'm going to click this button and now I'm done. I just saved my project again. I just updated it. So now let's go take a look at what that looks like on my computer. So I'm going to minimize this and go look at the file structure. So what I did is I went to my documents folder in my system. Inside that folder was a folder called 90 Second Website Builder. And inside this folder is where I'm saving my work. And again, I highly recommend you do the same. This is where you should be saving your work. And you'll see down here we've added another project. And I'm sorry, I have so many to scroll through, but I work with this a lot. And here's the site we just now created. This is my WBS file. This is my project file. I could literally launch this with 90 Second Website Builder if I wanted to. But also notice, like I said, there's now a folder up here. Let me bring it up into the camera called Greg's Test. Now, remember, I did not make that folder. The software did that for me. It automatically created this assets folder and keeps it in the same directory as my WBS project. It's very important that these two things live together in the same structure. Sometimes people will accidentally move their assets folder into another directory. And then when they open up their project, they say, why don't my images show? Well, here's why. Because 90 Second Website Builder is remembering where your images are by storing them in this assets folder. So in fact, if we go in here, and by the way, you almost never need to, but just for the sake of demonstration, if we look inside here, you can see there is in fact an image. And that image is the one image we stored. Let me change the view so you can see that. There's that picture that's on my website. I didn't have to store it here, the software did. So let's go back to this folder. And again, we can see there's Greg's test and there is the project. Okay, so I'm going to close this and go back to 90 Second Website Builder. So again, I've just launched the software. Let's say it's the next day and I want to work on my project. Well, I need to go open it because I'm opening a blank project and the software is assuming I want to start a new project and I don't. I want to work on the other one. So I have a couple of options here. One, I can go to File, Open Website, and simply go find that project. Easy to do. I'm here in the right place, the 90 Second Website Builder folder that's in my, my documents. And I would scroll down and I would find the site that I want to work on right here and I would do this and click open. However, you don't have to go through all of that. You can if you want to. Here's a faster way. I can also just go up to the file menu and look at my most recent documents. So this is the most recent document I've had open and all I have to do is click on this and because 90 second remembered the path to this document, another reason for you to be keeping that in the same place, that 90 second website builder folder, by clicking on here I'll be able to open up my most recent project. In fact, I can go back to the 10 most recent projects with this list. If you need to go back farther, that's why you would need to go to open website and then find the project you want to work with. But in my case, it's the most recent one I had, so I just simply click here and there it is. There's my project open and ready to continue working on. So make sure to save your projects as you go so that you can always find your work as you're building your websites with 90 Second Website Builder.